Well, you know, I'm attracted to Western movies by the landscape. I love the visual part of it. I love the feeling of the old country, of the un, uh, undiscovered world, uh, you know, that the, the frontierism of it. And, um, uh, yeah, I think to, to me it's the, it's the visual part of it. Actually, after City Slickers, I, I fell in love with all that. I ended up, we own a cattle ranch now. I, I, I like that cowboy life. And, I, and so when I'm watching a Western, I, I mean, there's iconic characters in it. There's good guys, bad guys. Um, th those kind of lines are drawn. Uh, th that part, the shoot 'em up part of movies, always bores me a little bit. Quite frankly, I, when the shooting starts, I go, "All right, everybody's going to shoot for a while, and then the bad guy's going to die or something." But I do, I like the atmospherics of of westerns myself. I, I remember Unforgiven being again that that landscape and those characters and the and the. The pace of the un, of Unforgiven was really unusual to me. It it took it, it it took its time. It unfolded in a very human way. And in fact, the the characters were human. Clint Eastwood and Morgan Freeman and Gene Hackman all played complex Western characters. They they were human. They were full of flaws. I still kind of, I knew who I was rooting for, but it was a very uh, modern complex characters as opposed to traditional western black and white characters.